Hi, in this episode, I'm going to show you how to use the Intrigue Variable System. In this example, we'll create two variables, Game Mode and Silver. I've prepared a simple UI. The buttons labeled Easy, Medium, Hard will change the game mode. Below the buttons, there are two text elements to display the game mode and the amount of silver. Correction, ignore the word gold on the UI, change it to silver. Variables can be used in two ways, as global variables and private variables. A global variable like game mode is open to everyone and has a single value. A private variable such as silver can be overridden for each actor, meaning its value can be different for each one. Open the editor. Select the Variables tab. Right-click and then choose New Variable. Name the variable. Choose the type of the variable. That's it. The base value is the initial value the variable will take. For instance, Silver's base value is 5. This variable starts with a value of 5 both globally and privately. Right-click again and select New Variable. Name the variable. Choose the type of the variable. There you go. Separate enum values with commas. We've created three different enum values. Easy, Normal, Hard. Set the base value of the enum value to Normal. Unless changed, the game mode value will remain as normal. You can create variables in six types. String, integer, bool, float, object, enum. All these variables can be saved and loaded with the Intrigue save system. Check out episode 13 for details. Let's move on. As you can see, under the Variables tab in the Actor Inspector, all data are listed. You can override the data you want to use privately. For example, you can set a different starting silver value for the actor Ulrich compared to other characters. Create a new script and drag it onto the canvas object. Open the script. We access global variables using the Intrigue System Manager. Private variables are accessed via an actor reference. Drag the player into the inspector. Hit the play button. As you can see, the variable definitions are made and their values are visible in the inspector. Great. Now, let's try the override function. 
For Ulrich, we set the base value of silver to 20. As you can see, the silver value has changed only for Ulrich. Now let's display the variables in the UI. Drag the game mode and silver text elements into the inspector. Let's test it now. Great. Now let's assign functions to the game mode buttons. That's it. We have a small issue. When we change the player, it still shows Ulrich's silver value. Let's fix that. Open the script. Delete the actor reference and replace it with direct access to the player actor using the Intrigue System Manager. I am player gives direct access to whoever the player actor is. Since the silver reference is defined in the start method, it needs to be redefined when the player changes. For this, we'll add a listener to the on player is changed event. The on player is changed event activates when the player changes.
Don't forget to remove the listener in the on destroy method. That's it. Let's test it. Great. See you in the next video, and thanks for watching.